Abby is a young daughter of a professional poker player and a real poker prodigy herself. Eventually, she gets tired of dragging her dad out of his financial troubles and decides to start a new life. She moves far away from Las Vegas and begins her own college journey. Her best friend, America, greets her and shows Abby their common dormitory room. In the evening, America and her boyfriend Shepley take Abby to an underground fighting club. Abby doesn't like the place and wants to leave, but bumps into Travis. This hot-headed fighter with an incredible body and tattoos immediately catches Abby's attention. He starts his fight and violently beats up his opponent while Abby watches. He stops to talk to her but misses a serious punch in the head. However, Travis stands up and finishes the fight, becoming the winner. Abby literally falls into his arms, and Travis flirts with her before leaving the club. At home, Abby keeps thinking about Travis and even has a steamy dream about him in the shower. During breakfast, Abby questions Shepley about his cousin Travis when he shows up and throws her off guard. Travis tries to charm Abby, but she plays hard to get. During the lecture, she looks through his Instagram and talks to herself about how sexy this boy is, when she suddenly realizes that he is sitting right behind her. Abby tells Travis that he doesn't stand a chance with her. For him, it looks like a challenge, so he asks Abby out on a date. When he appears near her dorm on a motorcycle, Abby reluctantly agrees to let him give her a ride. While walking around the park, Abby offers Travis to be friends, and he tells her about his family. His mother passed away when he was three, and Travis's father raised him and his four brothers alone. Abby doesn't tell him anything about her dark past and just flees the scene. Thanks to her clumsiness, the next day Abby meets another handsome guy, Parker. She accidentally hurts him with a frisbee, but he still finds patience to flirt with her a little bit. When the water turns off in Abby and America's room, they have to stay in Shepley and Travis's apartment for a night. Abby receives numerous voicemails and texts from her father Mick but ignores them. She overhears Travis hooking up with a random girl and accuses him of being a horny womanizer. In response, he offers Abby to spend the night in his bed. While sleeping, Abby has a silly dream about cats and unintentionally caresses Travis, which makes her feel super awkward after she wakes up. They have a fight, and Abby runs away from his apartment wearing only her pajamas. She meets Parker, who invites her to dinner, and Abby agrees. She prepares for their date and ignores Travis's texts. The date goes well, and after dinner, Parker offers Abby to go see a performance, which turns out to be a fighting tournament. And of course, Travis is there to perform. Abby sees his opponent and tries to persuade Travis to cancel the fight. Travis proposes a bet to Abby. If he wins his upcoming fight, Abby will live with him for a month. If he loses, he won't have sex for three months. The battle is tense, but Travis doesn't allow his opponent to even touch him. Naturally, Travis wins the fight, and Abby realizes what she has just signed up for. She tries to explain the situation to Parker, but he obviously needs some time to process it. She wants Parker to kiss her, but he is too scared of Travis, so he just tells her to get out of his car and leave. Abby moves into Travis's apartment and intends to make his life miserable and unbearable. Day by day they fight, argue, and Abby tries to make Travis feel uncomfortable in his own place. His fighting career goes well, and the guys gradually get used to each other. Their relationship changes for the better, and Travis decides to take Abby to meet his family. She gets introduced to his brothers and his father, Jim. When the boys decide to play poker and invite Abby to join them, she hesitates but agrees and wins them all. Everyone is shocked, including Jim, who recalls a story about some poker prodigy girl from Las Vegas and her problematic father. Abby confesses to being that girl and finally gets it off her chest. When Abby and Travis's month together is almost over, Abby starts thinking about dating him. They enjoy spending time with each other, Travis teaches her how to fight, and constantly makes her laugh. He is a great guy, but Abby feels like dating him will be too much for her, at least at this period of her life. However, their mutual attraction is stronger than anything, and they end up kissing and almost having sex. For a moment, Abby hesitates and pushes Travis from the bed, but then they start passionately kissing again. Abby runs to the bathroom, where she asks America for advice and admits that she loves Travis. Meanwhile, Travis notices mixed messages on Abby's laptop and thinks that he is her boyfriend. He gets angry and leaves. He comes back home completely drunk and carrying their neighbor's aggressive cat. Travis confronts Abby, and she tells him that Mick is actually her father. She can't forgive his invasion into her personal space and goes away. The next day, 
Abby meets Parker in the college library. He manages to lure her to her own surprise birthday party, organized by Shepley, America, and Travis. Abby gets drunk and has fun with her friends. She wants to make Travis jealous by dancing with Parker, but he tells her that he doesn't want to be used like a tool to get someone's attention. Abby and Travis have another fight, and she kisses him and vomits right into his face. After he takes her home and comforts her, Abby teases him by taking off her underwear. Later, she calls Mick and spills about where she is. In the morning, Abby and Travis caress each other. Unable to handle the tension between them, they finally decide to make love. Their sex is amazing, and they realize that they are meant for each other. When Abby heads to college, an unknown man approaches her and threatens to hurt her father if Abby doesn't go with him. They drive to Las Vegas, where Abby discovers that Mick owes $100,000 to a dangerous man named Benny. To save her dad, Abby has to earn that money in one night. Meanwhile, Travis is worried about Abby's disappearance and decides to look for her in Las Vegas. Abby prepares for the big night and dresses to impress. She fools all the other players and easily wins the money. She collects her prize and wants to leave the building, but a security guard stops her. He knows that she is not yet 21, so he confiscates her winnings and leaves her with nothing. Desperate, she calls her father and tells him to run. Abby tries to explain everything to Benny but he refuses to listen. Travis arrives just in time to save her and fights Benny's goons. One of them goes berserk, tears his clothes apart, and attacks Travis. In a tense and exhausting battle, Travis manages to knock the guy out. They run away to Abby's hotel, where Travis tells Abby that he loves her. Abby lashes out at him, saying that she doesn't need to be rescued, but then she kisses him. Full of adrenaline, they start undressing each other in a very crazy and wild way, destroying everything in the hotel room. After wreaking havoc everywhere, they move to the shower. There, they eventually have sex, constantly punching, scratching and kissing one another. To protect Abby from Benny, Travis decides to participate in a risky fight to earn the money and repay Mick's debt. Abby discovers that all the debt situation was just Mick's scam. After he found out where she was, he devised a plan on how to lure her to Vegas. Mick used her poker skills and bribed the guard to take her prize away and deliver it to him. Abby attacks her father, takes the money and his car, and drives away. Travis faces his monstrous opponent and delves into a violent and terrifying battle. He quickly realizes that nobody here is going to play by rules, which means that it is a battle of life and death. The situation seems hopeless, but Fortune smiles at them, and someone starts a fire in the club building. In the ensuing panic, Abby distracts Travis's opponent and saves her boyfriend. Back at the hotel, Abby says that she loves Travis and wants to be with him no matter what. Now, when everything is over, Travis and Abby decide to use her poker prize to have some fun in Las Vegas.